Today is Thursday, March 2nd, 2017. This four year old tricolor female knot spade Shetland comes in with the complaint of lethargy for the last three days, eating very little and uh, drinks very little. So there is a history. Now, the, the question to ask the owner is number one. Of course, the heat period, when was she on heat? Now, the owner usually does not know, but uh, there's a clue from here. Hold this, there's a clue. Now, the vet should check, unsterilized dog. So I check, and you can see, there's some swelling, eh? there's some milk coming out. You see that milk? milk. So, so definitely there is a case of forced pregnancy. So forced pregnancy can cause can cause uh, lethargy, not eating. Okay, this one. Then number two, check here for any discharge or not. If there is a pass flowing out, of course there is open pymetra, but there is nothing. Okay, so this is number one, the cycle. Then number two, you can do it systematically. Number two, you see the hair has been shaved. So uh, there is some reason for it. So I asked the owner the dog had been to the groomer for the ticking. So the ticking, when the dog is detick, of course uh, the groomer uses the insecticide. And this insecticide might have been leaked by the dog, causing lethargy, and that was one week ago. So this is number two. Then number three, of course, the infections. Now this dog has not been vaccinated for some time. So there's possibility of viral infections or bacteria at the groomer. Since the dog does not have an annual vaccination, then uh, the, besides the viral infections, then uh, there's a possibility of tick fever. Now tick fever doesn't mean that the dog definitely has fever when you check the temperature. Now tick fever can start with just a dog lethargy and nothing else. Everything looks normal, but there's a history of tick bites and this dog definitely had a history of tick bites seven days ago. So these are the four things we have to bear in mind in the Singapore context and even overseas as well. Ticks is a big thing. Tick fever often misdiagnosed because uh, the presenting signs at the early stage is nothing, just not eating. Now, so the test we've done, of course, the blood test, take blood for the CBC, kidney and liver. Now the, the, the other test is, okay, the, the, this test first. This is canine babies here antibody test kit and uh, we have put the drop of blood in there's only one line right yes one line means negative yeah. for baby seal okay then the second test is also for related to ticks okay what are the four? First one heartworm heartworm is not antigen. ticks okay mm. how many antibodies mm, that one is ticks and this is antibodies there is ticks yeah and the plasma antibody. This is also related to tick bites. Huh? So the first one is the mosquito bite. Yeah. So all these are one line means negative. So we eliminated at this moment it's negative. Doesn't mean it's going to be negative tomorrow. It's just that there's no antibodies at the moment of time. So we cannot just rule out that the blood test is negative. But at least if we don't do and the dog subsequently dies of it, tick fever, then uh, the vet should be considered negligent. Okay, so now we have uh, got the history. Examination, abdominal, no pain. Heart and lungs, okay, vomited once. Okay, now we are going to give the drip and then in this drip, we are going to put Betril 1.4 ml, which is based on 14 kg, a slow, slow IV. Either that I can give it through the stopper here. It's up to the person. If not, then you have to give here and, and close the flow. So down here I have given vitamin B complex. And although the dog is not really anemic, but uh, as part of the physical examination, you have to examine the dog. You can see it's not really anemic. It's quite pink actually. Then the, the CPR, capillary refill time. You press and see whether the color comes back within one second or not. A bit slow. So this dog could be dehydrated as well. Okay, so that's 
there's basically an overall summary of this uh, examination of a female not spit collie, shallow collie with lethargy for three days. Now they're actually tick bites, you can see. These are probably tick bites. Huh? And uh, so we will give uh, medication. See the, see the mucous membrane, you can see whether it's congested or not. Is it congested? No. Is it pale? Now if it's white, of course, definitely there's thick fever. Like the both sides. Check both sides. See the mucous membrane. It is not white. So as far as today is concerned, the dog does not have anemia. So, so that's how you go about systematically to examine a female dog not spit for lethargy.